Hi, in this video I'm going to give you a quick uh, introduction on how to get started with um, lab 9 or lab 10 from week 10. Um, so I'm going to be creating the schema and importing the tables. Okay, so we start our connection. I already have it here. So um, we're going to create a new schema. Um, I'm going to call it Movies Database. Okay. Um, we're using the default char set, which is UTF-8 uh, MP4, and the default collation for it. Okay. Click Apply, and this is what's uh, going to be executed. And that has created our schema. I'm going to set it as default, so that's the one we'll be using. Now I'm going to close this tab. Um, now we need to start creating the tables, okay? And remember, I've given you CSV files for the content of those tables. So we're going to look um, what, uh, which way to proceed. So maybe for the languages table, we're going to create a table beforehand. So this is going to be called languages. It's going to have the columns uh, language ID. Uh, which is going to be its primary key, and it's a tiny int uh, of size 3. So if we look down here, we have tiny int and maximum size 3, and it's the primary key. And we also have the language name, um, which is for char, and we said most language names are short, so we're leaving it as maximum the size 10. Okay, so this is our table apply. This is what's going to be executed. Okay, so we could have typed this in um, and it would do the same effect. Okay, so finish. We update here. And we have our table. And if we look at what's inside, there's nothing inside. Okay, so in here we can um, we could type in our values using the insert rows and delete rows, or we can import the records from an external file. Okay, so we're going to look here, and we have the language table, and we click open. Next, um, we're going to use the existing table languages. And this option here for truncate table before import is if you already had data on that table and you want to get rid of it, you keep the structure, but get rid of all the data and it's repa replaced by the new data that you have in the CSV file. Okay, we're not going to select that because there's nothing in the table anyway. And we click next. And here you go. Our um, table now has these values that come from the CSV file. Okay, so that's one way to proceed. You create a structure beforehand and then you can insert the values in. Another way to proceed is you right click on tables. Even if you don't have any table, I think somebody was commenting there yesterday. Um, you can right click on tables and click on table data import wizard. So we're kind of going into the second step that we were um, using a minute ago. We go to movies table, open. And in this case, we're creating a new table and we're going to call it movies table. Um, we click next. Okay, these are the names of our columns. Um, the encoding, in this case, uh, it's set to UTF-8. And we can, this is what's detecting from the file. Um, these are the types that it's um, identifying, okay, and you can see that they are a little bit more basic than we, what we can actually um, select on our data types on our tables. So you go next. This is going to import all the information plus create the basic structure of the table. Okay, so we finish here and we look here, we this view and we see our tables 
Okay, so it has these columns and these all these a thousand movies with its um, their corresponding data uh, included. Okay, if we look at the design view, we are going to need. You see, this what you get from the import is a very basic structure of the table that is kind of matching what's on the CSV file that obviously has no metadata. It doesn't have any values for what the primary key is or if it's uh, allowed to be null or not null and so on. So in here, for example, I'm going to modify, uh, we called it somewhere else movie ID. So I'm going to call it movie ID. Um, this is going to be an integer. So I'll just go with integer and there's a thousand. So if we put um, four, Enough. Instead of text, the title is going to be, we're going to use varchar and maybe maximum size 45 and so on. Okay, so you get the idea that we need to um, change all our data types. We also need to decide what the um, primary key is. If we were to use, if we're using any foreign keys and so on, all of that work needs to be done still here. Okay, so by I'm gonna click apply so we see. Okay, so this is giving you the um, SQL code that is actually creating the making the changes. Okay, in this case, changing the table. We click apply, finish, and if we go back, we can see. Uh, well, we have it open. Sorry, it's this window here. I'm gonna close it. But if we go back, we can see the. content and see again and you see how our changes are permanent okay but you need to click apply okay so we've seen uh, two ways of starting up with our tables one is creating the structure with the correct data types beforehand and then adding the data importing the data afterwards and the other one is importing the data into a shell with a very basic structure and then going back into your design view and changing the data types and the different characteristics, primary key and so on. Okay. Um, just the last thing in terms of changing your character sets and collations, I think that probably the kind of like safest is going to be use always UTF-8 MB4 and use case sensitive knowing that that's what you're using. If you need, um, you're, you have different needs after, then you can uh, modify for, let's say, case and sensitivity or um, any other type of uh, characters. If you were to use a database that needs particular characters, okay? But using UTF-8 and before, you're totally covered for anything uh, anything you'll probably come across, okay, any European language, uh, even and Asian and um, any language in the world, really, okay? Okay, I hope this helps and uh, see you in the next video.